Hi, ladies and gentlemen. On this episode of the NSFW Show, we're joined by Scott F. Dog Johnson. Why is he here? Well, gosh darn it, I'll tell you why he's here. He's going to judge this year's 10 Second Film Festival. Now, you've already had a 10 Second Film Festival this year, you're saying? Well, I don't know. You don't really keep track of it, and you need to mind your own goddamn business. We go over the debates and much, much more. Yes, folks, it is here for you now. The NSFW Show. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 149, recorded on October 16th, 2012. Splurt. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by MailRoute, email filtering in the cloud for companies and resellers of any size. MailRoute offers live human support and one-click sign-up. For free post migration and 10% off the life of your account, visit MailRoute.net, click the sign-up button, and enter the promo code NSFW. And the new Squarespace. Squarespace introduced a new content management system, making it faster and easier to create a high-quality website, blog, or online portfolio. Plus, more than 50 new features, including mobile responsive designs. For a free trial and 10% off your first purchase, go to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW10. Good, now say the first thing that pops into your brain. I don't want to touch sandpaper. I like the whiz. Okay, all right, now I want to try something. What do we go, mmm, let's go, mmm. Good, that's what I want you to do. Now follow my lead. I'm jumping in a pimento shower. I wanted the music first. In the tragic square of the Fresh Prince, there went a perfect brown baby. The guards can see we're all out of weapons. No machetes. Lotion raw bruises. Lotion raw bruises. Drink or sip a wench at our hotel. Both government anchovies, when they laugh at you, you'll drown. Eye of the sparrow, this girl slipped on my arrow. I love you too, okay? I want you to turn and look at me. Ahmed? Yeah, uh, he's asleep. Ah, oh. <laughs> All right, that means it has got to be. The new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Webernets. That show, you know, the one that's nominally safe for work. Hello, beautiful party people. My name is Brian Brushwood. This is what my right side looks like. This is what my front side looks like. This is what my uh, back side looks like. Take a look at that. That's uh, over here. This is what my best side looks like. That's Justin Robert Young. What's going on, Professor J.R. Weibels III? Uh, Brian, listen. There's a lot of people that are listening to us. Not only live, I'm going to go with the pen, not only live, but also in the podcast form. They expect us to talk in a very stilted debate manner and fact check everything that just happened in the debates. Uh, With all due reverence to both the people listening live and at home, I would like to point out that uh, that's nothing we've ever done before. And uh, my esteemed co-host can sit there like a jackass biting the genitals off a hobo, <laughs> and that's his right, and God bless him. You know what? But I met him with a 97-year-old grandmother I'm who explained to me that that's not the NSFW she knew and the one that she loved. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, number one, that is categorically false, and <laughs> I've never bitten a hobo's genitals uh, on purpose, uh, and I would call as my expert witness, as you can do in debates, I'd like to call to the stand uh, Scott Johnson of the Frog Pants Network. 
Great. Oh my gosh, what's going on, guys? It's so good to be here on this beautiful debated night <laughs> of the, the stars. Oh, <laughs> gee, happy debatica! I'm so Yay. thrilled that the three of us were able to get together to celebrate this hallowed tradition of people shouting past each other and the polarization of our fine country. Congratulations! Oh, yeah. did you watch? Scott, did you watch any of the debates? I did. Um, I watched most of what I could before the show tonight, and um, it was a much more animated affair tonight. Um, the last it debate I thought was. was kind of a lousy, you know, but tonight was best. great. There was actually some fisticuffs and kind of, you know, verbal cross punches and stuff, and it, it was nice to see, you know. I also like the format where they walk out with their microphone and waste a bunch of time just kind of switching places and walking. I think that is the silliest way to do a debate. I understand they want to connect with the people, but do you have to walk out all awkward like in your stupid suit and your microphone? Uh, I, I think no. that's that's uh, that's how our fonding fathers our fonding our fondling fathers did it. They did it while fondling themselves. Hey, <laughs> look at me! I'm Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> oh, you see, I'm the president of your United States. The fondling father. France is all Just asking us for a trade agreement. Hey, and I I'm like, like the. the <laughs> <laughs> that uh, all right. It scares me. Yeah. Uh, listen, number one, I will say, like I said on Twitter, that the winner of the debate tonight was the Long Island accent. It was brilliant and beautiful to hear the issues of the day read in that so unique nasal drawl. Uh, and also, I don't know if you guys saw this, but there was an awesome moment where uh, the the moderator Candy Crowley said, uh, "Our next person is uh, Kerry something," and Obama's like. Hey, Carrie. And then it's like this fat Long Island guy. And he's like, uh, 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 what, what's your name? And he's like, eh, it, it, it's me, Carrie. Uh, me and my friends in Mineola were talking, and uh, we came up with a question about Libya. <laughs> it was amazing. I did like, I did like, like it, how it sounded like they, they took a whole table full of uh, poker playing buddies to come up with that one question. That was that's amazing. They're, and they're all debating. They're like, no, guys, you don't understand. It's the president of the United States. What am I going to yeah. ask him? And we're like, ah, yeah. just play another round. Don't worry about it. It's like, <laughs> it, was, it was amazing. And also, like, like Obama asked him what his question, what his name was. And he's like, like yeah, it's me, Kerry. <laughs> but he's Kerry. I have a girl's name. What are you going to do? Big whoop, yeah. you want to fight about it? Yeah. You the, fight? Lady, the lady hey. whose name was it, Lorraine, no, nobody could say Lorraine's name right. And the best part about that was it was the most uh, partisan thing I'd heard. Like this was the most coming together moment where one guy could not understand her name and the other guy on the other side of the aisle could not understand her stupid freaking name. And the best part was then she called Mitt Romney Mr. President. So I think you just sew that all up into a nice, neat package. And I can't wait for November 7th. Let's do this. Sixth, I guess, is what it is. Wait, did you exactly. just make fun of somebody oh, yeah. for making a mistake and then make a mistake? Is that what just happened? I did. It's and every time that happens, you play great. <laughs> And Anytime. I would appreciate it if we moved on. Now let me drink from my goblet, my Dr. Pepper. <laughs> hey, uh, Justin, what are we doing today, buddy? Oh, my God. Well, to celebrate Debatica, uh, listen, we've had this in the works, of course, as longtime listeners and viewers of the show know. We've been working for months on Debatica. Justin, And uh, Justin, we are going I, to I, finally I have... I, I did not get you a present for Debatica, but I did want to say happy Debatica. I raise my golden goblet to you. Deba happy Debatica. Well, but... Brian, uh, then it's going to be really awkward because I got for you a Royal Crown Club card that I've been saving uh, for many years. You know what? Now that you now that you mention it, um, I got you this this two thirds full uh, Diet Dr Pepper. Happy Debatica, Justin. Happy Debatica. Diet. Well, uh, uh, Scott, listen. Uh, and it's weird because like I, I knew you were coming on, and, and like I don't know. It's totally cool if. Uh, if, if you didn't get me anything, but I totally, I know you're into art, obviously, yeah. because you're an yeah. artist, uh, yeah. but I got you a limited edition uh, a bird that I drew. Wow. <laughs> I drew is, is that a phoenix? Is that, that, a, yeah. uh, that, so that bird it, looks it, like it, a, it Basically, a, there's bird wings, <laughs> right? Uh, and yeah. then there's stabilizers. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, and then there's uh, the silhouette of John Kerry. Here. It's, <laughs> it's amazing. It, it, it almost looks like uh, like the, yeah. the wings are sketching it. out uh, like a lady's posterior. Do you see do you see that tight ass? Mm. I mean that that lady's posterior. Yeah. 
It yeah. Looks like to me, well, I was going to uh, say it looks uh, like a penis. Hold on. Wait a minute. Uh, a I actually, like it's, a it's a two-part painting that I got for you, uh, Scott. Well, just there's, wait there's patiently. A That's good. You take a moment to find that painting, which I'm sure is sitting there right in front of you. Uh, while I ask Scott, uh, we were talking before the show began whether or not you're particularly po partisan. Are you, like, no. are you, like, shy about your politics? No, I'm not. Um, but I am very middle of the road about my politics, and it pisses people off. There yeah. are, I get accused from both sides, the highly liberal and yep. them rat wingers. Both yep. sides think I don't pick a side because I'm being, uh, what's the word? I don't make any decisions. I, like I got I've, accused I'm today. not willing to make a stance because I'm afraid what people are going to think about my politics. But the truth is, I am as centrist as you can get, and I really do feel that way. There is stuff Obama says that I can totally buy into, and there's stuff that Romney and his crew can say that I'll go, yep, I believe that's a fiscal thing that that's, I, that's I'm the, a big that's believer the left. in. That's you on the left. All right, what do yep. you got on the right? That's What else you got? Oh wait, <laughs> that's a, oh good. So is oh, that are wow. you more a left winger or a, a right winger in this in wow. this debate right here? Wow, <laughs> I, I, I yeah, you know I have often dreamed of a of a world where penises could fly, but are, I are didn't you expect on... you to be the harbinger of, of the news. No, you... see, uh, the, those are power pellets that are being <laughs> shot from John Kerry's mouth out of the stable. <laughs> And then it goes down to the populace, and they all say together, Splorp? So, so you're in, on Team Splorp, then? Oh, man. Gleep. <laughs> Gleep. All right, so, so uh, well, answer me this, because, like, uh, and, and then we'll get to our real thing. But, like, uh, like I, I got, I, I did not expect this, because I came out of the closet to myself as a, one of those nut job libertarians, one of those crazy people that believe that, People should have freedom on both sides, on what they do in the in the bedroom, and believe they should have freedom on how they spend their money. Uh, and I made a tweet to that to that extent, saying something something blarg Obama, something something blarg Romney. You know, let Gary Johnson debate because it is a tragedy that that uh, that this dog and pony show is run by you know by 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 both people, both opposite sides collaborating. Uh, and somebody was just like, "Damn libertarians, pick a side." And it's like, how do you call someone? by the label they've picked and then tell them to pick a side that was the yeah. part that confused me yeah that's like saying come on rain be be wet or i don't <laughs> know maybe that's not it maybe that's a terrible maybe that's a terrible example no that's the best example that we possibly could have <laughs> which will lead us into our fantastic 10 second film festival justin what are we up to yes you want to we are picking a damn side and that is the side of the 10 second film festival what we ask you guys today is to celebrate the beta cup by making a 10 second little movie that says what the debate means to you we are offering bonus points if you used footage from the debate that just wrapped up folks we're moving fast here it's a popcorn popper and then the kernels are you and the heat is physics <laughs> and the popcorn machine is the earth so if you're in the military, prepare to be upgraded to a colonel, but like you're not happy to be a colonel because you're boiling in oil. Also, you're going to burst because of the water pressure inside you, but then some child's going to eat you because he's watching uh, Wreck-It Ralph. Exactly. And Wreck-It Ralph is a metaphor for candy, and candy in the, in the movie theater is a metaphor for life. Hey. Think about that one for a second, Bry. Yes. So you're saying you're saying life is a is a ten dollar box of of uh, uh, of Smarties. Is that what yes. you're telling me? Also, what? also herpes. Mm. A ten dollar box of herpes. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> All right. I would like to use that as an, uh, an exclamation at some point. Like someone cuts me off and in traffic and just go, "Well, that's a ten dollar box of herpes." If I ever did see it. <laughs> Uh, all right real was, real uh, i don't want to give you guys a preview because we're not quite ready but here but you guys can uh <laughs> can uh make sure to send in your t entries to the 10 second film festival and by the way if you got 10 seconds you can make an entry to the 10 second film festival but you got to send it in to chat realm c-h-a-t-r-e-a-l-m dot u-s slash one zero that's the number 10 is the shortener you'll find a place to put your uh your uh, URL for YouTube and your name in there so that you can win your award. And we're going to start here with um, our first 10-second film festival entry. He's somebody, if you remember, he had some fine entries with uh, the most graphic 
detailing of the attack of one space Hitler. Uh, this is Meeks Mixed Media. This is Bill Meeks with something called Laughing Joe. Take it away. That's why I put out a five-point plan. Uh, <laughs> I wish I had that much hair. <laughs> 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 These guys are incredible. <laughs> <laughs> That's that the whole thing? That's it. Okay. Uh, it's only 10 seconds. It's, uh, I'll tell you what. I would like uh, to ask a question of that in the in the style of, of this most recent debate. Uh, Mr. Meeks, this is me. My name is Kerry McPretty Rainbow Pants. I'm from Long Island. Uh, I think that video was great. You did a great job. I feel feel like Joe Biden, he laughed a lot, and I said that was great. I loved it. <laughs> that's good. All right. That's a ringing endorsement, if ever I heard one. Mm. All right, let's move forward to this one here uh, from Jack. And, and, uh, and let, let's, explain, let's explain how we do these things. What, what we do here is we don't wait until the end and, and have a vote or whatever. No. We do it. Uh, old champion Boo. Or, yeah, old champion Boo. No. Yes. Old champion old Boo. New champion. Champion Wu, new right? champion Wu, yeah, right, right. So, 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 in this so case, basically, it's like it's like a wrestling. It's it's like this versus the void. Would you rather be lifeless, without shape or form, endless gray nothingness for all of eternity, neither coming nor going, a lack of existence, the true nature of oblivion itself, or this video by Bill Meeks, new champion Wu, old champion Boo, uh, uh new champion Wu, uh, Scott. Johnson, can I just ask you, did you enjoy the video? What would you like about it? I don't know. You have to tell me. Um, oh! the, it was okay. It, you know, let me tell you what my problem with the video. I understand the mashup quality. I understand taking Biden out of context and sticking him in there as if he much was hair. watching this thing. I understand the value in that. I just think I needed more than him laughing. I don't know what that is. That's uh, why they're the artists. That's why they're the directors. I'm they're sorry, supposed Scott, to show Scott, us Scott, if, what if we you have feel. just a moment, we have Joe Biden on the line with a response. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh. hey, these, these guys are incredible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's a piece of, piece of me laughs at that, clearly. <laughs> The piece, of course, being the laughing piece of you that just laughed right now. Yeah, the part that part that just laughed. But I just part of it, you know what it is? It's that I feel like there's I haven't seen enough of the other entries yet. Like I'm gonna see somebody else's. I don't want to blow what my, a, all, my all uh, political wad on this guy. Is that this is better than death? Yeah, it's better than death. Would you rather okay. be dead or watching that video? I'd rather watch that video than think that. about your children, Scott. <laughs> it's, it's new, <laughs> new champion. Woo! With that ringing endorsement from Scott yeah. and the Dog Johnson. Yeah, I'd rather be death. alive watching box. that video than totally dead. All right, this one here comes from. Uh, By the way, Zephyr, Zephyr in the chat room says Sophie's choice. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> it's tough, bro. <laughs> Beef drinks bleach from the chat room. All right, this one comes from John Fielding and is called OJ's OK. No idea if it's about the football player. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, by the way, for the audio listeners, you just watched a man drink the blood of the innocent. It was he looked, uh, like, he looked like Jesus. It was oh, he, he got well, it. It was uh, it was a man, um, and the words blanking uh, a, a filthy ginger. I think they're called on the streets. Uh, um, that's that's their word. All right, you do not get to call them that word. They're taking it back. I'm sorry, uh, copper Americans. There you um, go. Uh, they, uh, he's, he's, he's drinky. He says, uh, when you want to make a tough decision, stay hydrated and relaxed. And then he takes just a bit of a, a what I like to call a cobbler's sip of orange juice. A cobbler's sip. Cobblers work on shoes, right? Yes, but they also make cobblestones. Little known okay. fact about cobblers. Fair enough. All, All right, right let me weigh in on this one. So now here's now this is Sophie's choice because before it was the black darkness of oblivion or Bill makes his video, but now you have to choose between Joe Biden's laugh and uh, and this guy drinking an orange juice. All right, I'm gonna give it to I'm gonna give it to this guy. I'm gonna give him extra points. What? I feel like I feel like we're getting a metaphor for something deeper than just 
a man in his orange juice. This guy very just drank. I, you, you know what? I'm going to come out juice. on team. Uh, screw you. I'm I'm all the way back in <laughs> Joe's life. I'd rather hear the laughter of the pre- vice president of the United States than see some <laughs> filthy ginger uh, uh, copper American. But you couldn't watch a, Copper America. You could, sorry, you couldn't watch Joe Biden do his stupid laugh another ten times. But I could watch that guy drink that. that <laughs> I'll stuff tell you what, man. You know why you want to bring it? I'll play the two side by side <laughs> on a loop. I'll uh, find a. I'll find an animated GIF of the two of them just drinking and laughing. You ever regret something right? Right. After you if say it's it? if, if it's if it's down to is this a carry bird or a splorp? <laughs> I gotta go splorp. It's terrible. <laughs> oh, so wait, we have a same champion boo then. Same yeah, champion boo. Right. Same right. champion splorp. Same champion splork. Mr. Brashwood, I have talked with all my friends, and we have asked you to please move on to the next video. All right. Thank goodness. All right. Now, it looks like all that. Wait a minute. Do we have a second one from Bill Meeks? Is that doable? Can Bill Meeks take on Bill Meeks? Meeks on Meeks crime. This, it, you, it's a shame to see Meeks on Meeks crime in the inner Meeks city on these Meeks. days. You ask me, it's Weeks. Now show me the video. Here we go. Meeks. <laughs> America will eat its own. So so long to what you thought was democratic. These times are kind of... I think that was just a clip from another video. It looks like I. There's no way he just made that. Did he yeah, make that? that? There's a Minecraft creeper bl- flying into that building, which I get. I'm into that. I'm down with that. But I don't think that happened tonight. Wait, but if he made that tonight, like that's I, that, be... it's not outside of Meeks's uh, Certainly purview within, within his, his technical capability. I'll tell you what. Here's my criteria. If that's a Meeks original, respect, bro. R e s p e k. But he did it for Chad, dude. If he, he ripped did it, for it off. Chad. Listen, number one, we have to let, let me get a word from from the chat realm. Of course, the original fondling father, Ben Franklin, asked, <laughs> how would you rate it on a scale from one to nine eleven? <laughs> oh my God, really? Okay, 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 so quick question. when does uh, when does the statute of limitations run out as far as comedy goes? Maybe when the war stops, how long has it been? eleven years? Oh man, that's uh, a really good question. Has this been? I wonder if this has been talked about in like actual stand-up comedy circles. Like how? Because uh, clearly many of them make nine eleven jokes now. But when? When did, was there a decided upon date? Did they figure that out? It's a good question, Brian. I don't know. I'm just waiting for them to figure it's out. It's hard because it, I, don't, I don't think that there's any rule because like it's very rare that like like foreign things which are always hateable. Like things that aren't in America are always hateable because we don't gotta face them as much. Sure. It's like as much like we see an Afghanistani here, and he's like, "Hey, I'm in Afghanistan," and you're like, "All right, well, whatever." But there's a the majority live in Afghanistan. Right. It's like when when crazy stuff happens here, it's like we gotta run into those people and we have to deal with it so we get over it quicker. But like we're never, never gonna get over things that are far away. We'll just be really angry about it forever, and it's never gonna be funny. Yeah. So wait, none of you guys answered the question. That was pretty. That was very classy of you guys. Well it's played. Debate, I said, I say never. Or whatever. So uh, in the spirit of that, uh, I think we will not put this one to a vote and just continue walking by. So the current reigning champion is. Still- oh no 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 no, Brian, because I give it a carry bird. <laughs> <laughs> it is so gross. Wow. I'll tell you what, chat room, give me a zero or a one on that video because yeah. that's uh, that's heavy duty. That I is like it, heavy binary, duty dude. is what he just did. Zeros but if, it, but if he just did it, I'd give him a 10. But if I don't, I just, do we have any proof? I just, it seems like it's from something it's, else. No, no, no. I, I think he actually did it. I think he actually did it because, he, first of all, he, uh, here, hold on. And, He's got to be in there. Did it's somebody confirm this? It's called Loose Blocks MP4, and you can see there's nothing else like it there, and these are all other... Video. See, look, that one but there this would is... But this would be like Shyamalan showing us the happening and then showing us the sixth sense. Does that make any sense? Yeah, well, uh, I see, look at this. This is... I think that's... That's amazing. America will eat its own, so so long to what you thought was democratic. He's time oh, people are saying it's disqualified because it's 12 seconds. It's 12 seconds, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Here, here's the thing. Number one, you don't know what it is until the very last moment. It's, it is... It's politically incorrect. 
but it's really making fun of loose change. So even if if what you're if you're uncomfortable with with you know nine eleven jokes, it's making fun of the of the guys. Yes. It's uh, making fun uh, of the, the assholes Hitler. who refuse to acknowledge the tragedy of 9-11. Yes. Okay. I'm and, and for if he Minecraft. Made it, I give it a thumbs up. You know what? I'm uh I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that uh you know, here's here's the author himself saying is making fun of loose change. Those assholes need to be made fun of. Uh so much so that I did not use proper English when I said that. So that means uh I'm on board. And so Scott, will you publicly uh, go on the record as supporting uh, a creeper running into Freedom Tower? <laughs> yes. Sadly, yes. Because I think it's... I'm, I'm looking at it purely from a technical achievement standpoint, and I think it's pretty bad aid looking. But yeah. I understand the ramifications. Save your emails. I give it a thumbs up. What? Yes. All right. Done and done. All right. So this one here, this one comes next up. There we go. I weigh lovely Carrie Bird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one comes from uh, D-Bags Jones. D-Bag Jones, and we may have to make a judgment call because it's the 10-second film festival, and we're not, we're not too harsh on the time limit, but this one is all of five whole seconds longer. So I don't know. We'll, you guys will decide whether or not the 10-second film festival entry from D-Bag Jones is too far. All right. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> really? It's because you the subtlety of that. I thought at first I'm like, okay, I get it. It's it's all warpy, and there's just this is kind of just thrown together. But the stand up for your rights at the end of the clip there, and Romney standing up like that with his microphone covering his obvious erection, dude, that is an <laughs> awesome video. Covering his carry bird? Yes. Uh, you know what? I'm actually I'm going to come down on the other side of this. I'm going to say that uh, I don't care how big Romney's uh, hidden boner was. I'm going to say that uh, that was just it was flopping in the wind. It was made to flop in the wind there. There we go. Look at that. See, look at I that. I liked it. I That's, liked it. He is just kind of gross. Are, are we saying that, that Romney got a bader boner? <laughs> Let's see. Covered it up. It's like getting called to the front of the class, do math on the freaking chalkboard, dude. What would have happened if one of those guys just busted out with freestyle rap? It's, I mean, I say one of those guys, but it would have to be Romney. That's the only, that's the only way it would be an utter world-stopping surprise. Well, ironically, we'd love that, okay, but, well, but in reality, I think we'd all why? be terrified. Cause, cause, is it because one of them wears a suit like Jay-Z? <laughs> <laughs> a suit wearer. <laughs> All right, man, spill it. What's, what's the uh, you're the defiant? It's the, like super getting limousine. <laughs> These suitors. Uh, all right, so you gonna are you gonna are you gonna spill it? You're gonna pick. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna splurp that one. Uh, I think it's very clever, but it's not as good as uh, making fun of loose change. Yeah, with no, my loose record. change deserves it. Although, although we did say extra points. If it if it included tonight's image, not just enough. Did include points. tonight's debate. Okay, we. Uh, you know what? The unspoken part of extra points to includes footage is even more extra points if you design from scratch a Minecraft world that involves a horribly offensive image, but then you twist it to make fun of a hateful group of ignorant jackasses. Yes, but. Did he make that tonight? I think that was footage from so I'm still I'm back in this camp. Uh, Bill, don't get me wrong, dude. I think you're awesome, but I did, did you really make that from scratch? Bill's done stuff like this before, Scott. Yeah. Uh, he's, right. he's very very down right. he works very fast. But Bill Meek right. swears he made it tonight. There it is. You can see his pinky right there in the chat room. All right, I'm going to believe him. He said it to my face virtually. I'm going to say, "Okay, fine." And in that case, given that, then fine, it probably beats this one. But All still right. it was pretty good. Uh, this and also, one, also, if, if he did not make it tonight, who is this human being that is making this out of spare time, waiting for the moment for which it's appropriate? <laughs> There's somebody, you know what, maybe we've uncovered their plot, is this is the sequel. It's going to be all in Minecraft territory. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, uh, let, let, me, let me just say, but just one more time, Bill Meeks works extremely well, extremely fast. So the, the, I watched that and did not think for a second that I didn't do it tonight. I'm yes. just trying to be contrary. It's a debate, damn it. Yes, come on, man. Yeah. What do you, you got to pull back the curtain? 
All right, this one. Why does it have to be curtains, Brian? Why can't it be uh, blinds or drapes? I'll tell you why it's got to be curtains, because our next one comes from a lady. Were you prepared for that? This one is called The Power of Political Tweets. Wait, what, Justin? Uh, I was just going to say that I have gotten together with my friends in Levittown, and we have decided that you should show a next one from a lady. Can you please do that, Mr. President? I can. <laughs> this one is called uh, uh, The Power of Political Tweets, and it comes Mr. to us. Mr. President, me and my friends have gotten together on the LIRR. We decided that you should show a video from a lady. Can you please respond? Okay, that's uh, that's what I'm going to do. It's from a lady. Her name is Invisible Life, and it's called The Power okay, of... Okay, excuse me. Ex I, I was told I could talk. Can you please show another one? This one from some penis. We call them here on the island, ladies. Hello. <laughs> okay. This is this one's from a lady called Invisible Wife, and it's called The Power of Political Tweets. <laughs> <laughs> That's clever. Wait, I just changed my whole political stance. Thanks, Rabbit Badger. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. I hate that one. The audio said, you see, you see what, what appears to be an invisible person uh, looking at her, her phone, uh, laughing and saying, oh, that's so clever. And then she says, wait, I think, I think that just changed all of my political beliefs. Thank you, Rabbit Badger. Oh, Jesus. Shots fired at old rabbit badger. Wow. Yeah, I hated that one. Uh, it's, it it ruined people. the technology ruined me. The, the freaking Harryhausen is rolling in his grave. <laughs> Jeez. Terrible effects. That Listen, let it. me just let me just say this. For those of you who don't know what's going on, Rabbit Badger, of course, long time, maybe one of the, among the longest uh, time fans of this show. And, and so many of the other uh, uh, chat realm kinds of family of products, uh, is a very, very political guy, tweets a lot about politics, a lot of us follow him, a lot of us uh, read his, his opinions in there. So I think that's, that's, what, that's where that came from. No, and as a matter of fact, uh, I, you know, I'll tell you what. Well, I, I got to recuse myself from this one because Bonnie, I, I was the cinematographer. Bonnie had the idea and she wanted me to take a photo of it. And in her defense, she said she wanted to say, like, random person on Twitter, but I was like, okay, you're talking about Rabbit Badger because we all have that person who we love but just blows up our Twitter feed with politics of one side or the other, and, and for us, that person is Rabbit Badger, I think, for a lot of the folks in the chat room. Uh, I would like to quote, uh, of course, uh, Songstress, a, 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 a songbird for her generation, Ali Spagnola, who says, Rabbit Badger has changed my opinion on 10,493 things with 10,493 tweets. See, that's that's not true because I'm sitting here right now looking at uh, Rabbit Badger's uh, number of tweets, and he has tweeted 40,745 times. I confirm that number. That's high. That's <laughs> There we go. Boom. Yeah, there's that. That's a lot. Good lord, that's a lot, you guys. What is what is the what is the oh, TPD on that tweets per day? I wonder. What's that? Uh, three point one four, not one five nine. There you go. Perfect pie. All right. Uh, so everybody follow Rabbit Badger, but uh, uh, Scott, it's up to me and you. Is this better than the Minecraft video? Uh, no, this is not better than the Minecraft video. I give it a big. <laughs> you hear that, wife of mine? Scott Johnson thinks you suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's fire your uh, effects, people. Brian, fire them. They're terrible effects, not people. Only, not only am I going to splorp this one, ah. uh, but also I'm going to blame it on the unborn child. Uh, <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. Kid. No, you're daughter? coming up. Oh. Really? Is that how you're going to yeah. roll this? I'm sorry. I'm pinning this one right on her. That's that's she she's she's got some ground to make up on day one. Let me just let you know. All right. Wow. Uh, OK, well, so let's go on to the next one here. Do you want to take a break and talk about our fine sponsors? <laughs> People, you know, blaming, blaming Bobo. Bad, bad Bobo. -F -O. Spam. Never heard of it. Uh, well, let me tell you what Spam did after it, it, it ended its educational rapping career. It dealt <laughs> drugs to kids. All right. Well, so what's, what's the big deal about that? 
Well, okay, if that's not enough for you. Hi, Brian, my name is Alice. My, I'm a man who works at an auto plant in Mineola. I have been given this question by my brain trust to ask you, what are you going to do about spam? Every day I open up my mailbox and I see 14,000 pieces of spam terrible things like guns this is what my, are you uh, going to do about it this is Brian? my new character like political candidate who just doesn't really mind like i don't know what to do about it. Well, Brian, uh, uh, me and my friends in, in Mineola have gotten together and we said that what you could do is go to mailroute.net. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? You dot net. Here's the deal, Brian. Uh, I'll tell you what. I, I used to be on something called Postini. I was about to make some joke about it being like a vile social disease, but Postini really is, if you think about it. Yeah, yeah. Listen, this is like The Wire, where we find the connect. That's Postini. He's like, hey, I'm Postini. I like the <laughs> deal. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm just sitting around letting spam <laughs> run amok on your life. It's me, Postini. I have never seen this side of you Postini, ever. Postini, th th this is what we call the moneymaker. <laughs> Hang in there, Scott. <laughs> wow. So, what okay. about that, Brian? You can free yourself from both Postini and spam only by going to mailroute.net. And they just completely wipe out any problem that you have in terms of spam and Postini, okay? Mailroute.net. If you can edit your MX records, you're taking it to the max. Maximum no spam protection is right here for you at mailroute.net. If you run your own server and you got it nothing but overrun by a big fat bag of spam, Man, mailroute.net's going to be right there for you, taking spam out at the source. Yeah, when you say the sports, you mean the kneecaps, right? Uh, yes. I mean the kneecaps, and then he, it, it makes spam eat its own kneecaps. And then Postini's <laughs> over there watching going, Oh, this is real screwed up. I'm Postini. <laughs> I, I violate many social norms. Cannibalism is but one of many. Uh, okay, folks, in all seriousness, Postini is another service that purports to stop spam. Guess what? They're in league with spam. I've written, <laughs> look, I hold got on, a bunch Hold on, real quick, real quick. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Justin. Um, I'm, it's just a thing. You can't, you can't slander other mail services. You can't, you can't say terrible things about, uh, okay, you appear to have photographic evidence. That's clearly look spam. Look at the chart, bro. That's, that's. Look at the chart. Postini and spam, spam are clearly. I, I see the line between them, and both of their names are written on a piece of paper. I think the evidence is clear. Uh, okay, there's clearly Dude, nothing I can do one, here. Brian, if Spam, if, if Postini wasn't really in league with Spam, why is there a line? <laughs> Ask yourself that, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. Where's Jim Lehrer when you need him? <laughs> what? You want to what? There we go. Uh, uh, I just, like I uh, uh, I'm only I'm only here pointing out the facts. Okay, uh, it's fact check time. Let's just say let's just say the a line has been drawn, and you're either on Team Postini or on Team Mailroute. How about that, Brosies? And there we go. And I'll tell you what I don't know. Like I don't even know who Postini is. Why is there a line? <laughs> Why is there a line between you and spam? I'm just asking questions, bro. Hey, I don't know. Uh, sometimes you have a line. I'm Postini. Boy, everyone who has line is suddenly in league with spam. Oh, well, I tell you, line companies don't take this forever. All right. Uh, you made Postini Hispanic, and I found that racist. No, I was trying to make him Russian. Which, which, <laughs> how'd that work? Which strangely would be just as it's racist. A long way just to about go to Russia. A, yeah, it's a less popular country. All right. Here we go. Uh, let's do this. This one is listed by. Actually, I didn't see the name. It says it is from I am Bagels. Web seven seven one four. Schwood, your idiotic request is my demand. It's <laughs> the best thing in the world. Okay, this is from I am Bagels, and it's called Presidential Debate. Seven seconds long. None of this matters. Everything they're talking about is going to die in Congress anyway. 
Okay, well. By the mm. way, uh, I, I actually want to give it plus <laughs> five points because <laughs> I, because it uh, because it uh, had poor lip sync dubbing. <laughs> oh, more points. Um, for that. Got it. You want to know what? Uh, oh, the, if, uh, wait, if we're giving extra points for bad for production value, then I rescind my vote and I vote for the floating phone thing again. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Uh, right. Justin gave it a splorp. I gave it a splorp. What do you give it? Uh, splorp. Splorp. Yeah, I understand what he was trying to do, but he didn't quite capture the essence of the... Blah, forget it. I'm not trying to be all artsy about this. It oh, just kind of I mean, let me tell you, there's a time and a place uh, to give nuanced, informed communication, to speak yeah. the truth as you see it. Uh, NSFW, not that time or place. No. All right, this one. Uh, all I'm going to say is I, I present what I saw in the chat room with no commentary except to repeat what I saw, that uh, people in the chat room did not like that video, and I just saw four uh, lines in a row. Boo! A longer boo! And then one longer boo! And then the third, fourth one that just said, Jew? Question mark? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, boo. All right. This is from in the chat room. It's listed as a Bradicatus. B R A D I K A D I S. This one's called Kim Says Hi. How many of you could have? Kim Says Hi. Okay. Oh, you should have really <laughs> hit him. Ah, man. What a missed opportunity. Chat room, no likey. Look at this. <laughs> There's a <laughs> zero zero racist. That was so I political. I did kind of like the get the hell out of here sort of reaction of that guy. Like he's sick of this dude with his weird videos he takes. Yeah, There's something about that, but not enough to save it. All right, look, I'm not even going to put this one up to a vote. We're going to keep on going here. This one's from. Uh, well, I'm voting it. <laughs> you're voting it, Splorp. All right, fair enough. Uh, this one comes from uh, the H. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. Wait a minute, Brian. There's another question. Hold on. Um, Hi, my name is Edward McPrettyface, and I would like to ask a question to Scott Johnson. Scott Johnson, can you confirm or deny that that Kim in the video was your wife, Kim Johnson? Thank you very much. <laughs> no, hold on. What was your name? Can you say your name? What was your name? Hi, my name is Eldrick <laughs> McPrettyface. <laughs> that only works if you watch the debates. Um, no, that, that was not in any way representative of my lovely... Beautiful wife, Kim. Not even close. Sorry to point. Sorry to blow that for everybody. Are you drawing a picture? All right, forget it. Look, we're gonna watch this. <laughs> no, no, no. Here, here we go. Hold on. Take a look at this. This is Blard from the H. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Wait a minute. If that's not your wife, how do you explain this line between what? the two circles? Oh, that you? Kim? I can't even. I don't even. Why is there I a line, even... bro? <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. It's not. <laughs> you know, in a in a junior high scratch it on your desk kind of way, I guess it sort of works. All right, all right, we'll keep on going. We'll keep on going. <clears throat> uh, this also. Uh, so right now, Minecraft is still in the lead, right? Yeah, man. I hate to say it. Yeah. This one's called uh, the Great Debate from Cobalt Tiger. Are you ready for this? This is the Great yeah. Debate by Cobalt Tiger. Uh, here we go. Oh, he's on the super. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <-hoo! laughs> uh, all right. That was all right. That was all right. For the audio listeners, uh, it was a it was a man sitting on a toilet, looking over and deciding which way the toilet paper should go. But did you guys see? This is what I'm going to make a case for why this is brilliant. Because did you see that the very end? It flies. He puts. It says it doesn't matter which side wins. You still got to wipe your own ass. But watch this. In the very last second of this tense, look, three shells, and it says third party. Whoa! That's a reference to Demolition Man. Uh, you seen no, the Demolition Man, Joe? Of course. That's insane. Is it doesn't know how to use the three shells? Justin's we unimpressed. We almost missed it. I'm totally impressed. Mm. Oh, I like it. I think it's good. I like Nerd Demolition Red. Man. 
Are you okay? New champion Wu, same champion Boo. Oh. Uh, I'll let I'll let our esteemed uh, guest Scott Johnson go first. Oh man, You'll lay this on me. <laughs> uh, by the way, for the chat room, Biggin says now he's th- speaking about the t- issues. See what he did there? <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at that! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. I still got to give it to Meeks at least at this stage of the oh, game. Oh my god! All right, here we go. We're gonna burn through. So like, Wait, hold on, wait a minute. Beef Beef says in the chat room, you still gotta wipe your own ass. Libertarian. Scandal. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. This one comes uh, Brian, from... Wait, wait, wait. Did you, wait, wait. Did you, you said yay to that one, right? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, sure. Yeah, I say yay to it. What? Is that Gary the new bird. champion? It's got... New it's, champion. Whoa. It's got the, uh, the bird of pleasure on it. Awesome. Okay. This the one comes from MD, <laughs> MD Talk. MD Talk. It's called uh, Ta Debate uh, for NSFW. Here we go. I believe that you should vote for me because I'm awesome. Yeah, I think my opponent's right. You should probably vote for him. He's awesome. Okay. Was that the same dude with split screen? Because oh he may God. have just won on technical yes. reasons. Yes, he did. He did. That This This is like some heavy duty uh, like people I'm dancing aw- with himself moment. Okay. Boy, I'm easily I'm easily distracted by shiny things. People are saying effects. Sorry, yeah, is that a new champion? Woo! It sounds like a I, new champion. Woo. I mean, you're not going to give Avatar best pitcher, are you? But you're going to say it was pretty technically damn good. Well, so, so if we're picking best pitcher here, then I can't say yay. It has what, to be. A sport. You do what your heart says. You do My heart you- says f Avatar. Screw James Cameron. Screw his blue lighting at night. Yeah. I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna say Splorp here. Yeah, that's that's two Splorps. However, Brian, uh, I, I am gonna award that one the old Justin Robert Young hashtag Weebo of the night. Brought to you by. <laughs> Are you saying you saying you're a little bit into the the, the ratty wig? You wanna you wanna see yeah, MD Talk and go up and just maybe caress, and he starts to explain that's a wig, and you're like shh 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 shh. shh. Brian, Brian, you ain't got to explain Weebos. Weebos have it. You don't know why they're there. Neither do they. They're Weebos. Near, far, Weebo, there you are, right between my legs with your ratty wig. When two British men are talking to each other and one's in a wig. Uh, All right, so there we go. Uh, Everybody, hashtag Weibo right now. It's the Weibo of the night. There we go. Let's get Weibo trending in the middle of the presidential debate. Let's get Weibo. All right, this one comes from somebody over Photo Bucket. It's an old one. It says, win not to doorbell ditch. Go. What do you got? Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Oh, that's terrible. That has nothing to do with our topic whatsoever. Shame on whoever did that. No. Yeah. Mm, Splorping it on them. Splorping it. Splorping it. Splorping it. Well, splorping it and splorping it and splorping it. Well, all right. This one is from uh, says Jason Jones. What I learned from the debates. Let's take a look. This is what happens when we take solicitations the day of. We should we should start it like three weeks. Oh, my God. I hope if he actually poops in the bowl, (laughs) it will be my favorite. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, he's just flushing it. That looks like a atom bomb, though. Okay. That's it. Oh, must, so much. Must commentary. be Canadian. He's Canadian because that thing has way better flow and pressure than my freaking toilet does. Yeah, man, it's that's rough. It's all the same. Yeah. It's all the same stuff. I'll all right. Say, hey, what? Well, I was. What? Splorping it, splorping it, and splorping it, and splorping it. Well, splor- uh, all right, splorping, all right, splorping all right. it. This one, well. James Bobbitt, debate 2010, send second film. What do you got? Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Somebody just used that. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> oh, Mr. High and Mighty, I will not be swayed by technical performance. He sees a he sees a high tech car being dropped on a television of the debate, and he's in love. That's all right. Yeah, it's a it's a Michael Bay thing, and there, occasionally you can watch The Rock and have a good time. I thought that was awesome. I love that one. 
I mean, think about um, it. The one we're giving, we're giving Meeks the big win so far because no. he's doing two things. He's doing technical no. and he's making a statement. Well, right? That's true. Yeah, that is true. He's not. He's not the champion. Meeks I, isn't the champion. I'm fine. I'm fine on whichever one. Which uh, I, I I abstain from this one. So it's up to you, Justin. Oh, what do you mean you abstain? No, I can't abstain. Uh, I'm still on toilet roll. Toilet roll is the best thing ever. He, he's a libertarian. <laughs> he can do what he wants. He can do what he wants. You don't have to do anything. You can't tell him what okay. to do. So it's still it's still same champion. All right, this one comes from Gato Wag. It's called handing over the presidency. Let's take a look. Hmm. How do you respond, Mr. Sockman? You have two minutes. I told you to uh, pretend I'm not here. <laughs> wow. Uh, that, was pretty, that was pretty good. Wow. Uh, so, look, if you're giving any credit to technical achievement, you got you to gotta let that happen, man. Dang it, I'm trying to find your puppets, and I'm not fast enough. <laughs> you know what's funny is the moment I loaded this, you, like, turned. I thought you were coughing. I realized you're looking for the goddamn puppets to, to Oh, bring yeah, it that's up. all I needed to see. I, Sesame Street music could come on. I'm like, ah, where's the brushwood puppet with the spikes in the head? <laughs> all right, look, anyway. this is new champion, new uh, champion. Can, can we see that one again, Brian? Can we please yep, see that we, one again? We, we by the sure way, can. for the record, hmm. it is a blue sock respond, asking uh, Ira Sockman the question. At, at a desk that minutes. looks like a presidential debate. I told you to uh, pretend I'm not here. I like the fact that that Iris Sockman. First of all, it's a very good likeness of Iris Sockman. Second of all, he's rocking a tie, clearly yeah. trying to to sway the audience and impress them. Uh, Mr. Moderator, not so much. He's just naked. Respond, Mr. Sockman. You have two minutes. I told you to uh, pretend I'm not here. I love this film. Yes. No, that's win. Give 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 him the boner bird, Jerry. Yeah. Give him the, the if jury you don't boner give bird. him the boner bird, there's something uh, wrong. That um the video made Iris Sockman's voice sound a little bit anti Semitic, but that being <laughs> he said the <laughs> bird of boner. Oh, the sweet, sweet jury boner bird. All right. Jerry got... bird. Jerry bird. Jerry bird. Jerry bird. All right. This one is our last entry. Let's take a look at it. <clears throat> This one is called an well, election. You know what, Brian? Uh, before we do our last entry, why don't I tell you a little bit about our friends at Squarespace? I'm sorry, who? Squarespace.com. It's like a what dance What they club, do right? is they give you websites. Yeah, that's like a disease. What? You don't want to get the websites no. on you? Website is your personal destination on the web. See, now I had a friend of mine. His name was Lawrence. Lawrence made a website, and he took a bunch of time on it, and it looked pretty good. And then we were talking about mobile responsive designs and how awesome it is when you don't got to have your website look like a janky piece of dog boop when it gets scaled down. Or it just looks like it's not made for iPads or iPhones or Androids or Samsungs or whatever people are visiting your site. That's when I told him about Squarespace.com. And I said... You know this is here, Lawrence. Squarespace is the best thing ever because I was having a stroke. But <laughs> even though I was uh, having all the blood cut off from my brain, I swayed him on the fact that Squarespace is the place that you need to go. If you're an artist, you want to get some messages out there with maybe a fun contest, maybe you'd like to have a birthday party and put up a little website about it. Squarespace.com is for you. It's brand new. Their interface is gorgeous. I'm going to tell you what. You're going to want to eat off this interface. You're going to throw spaghetti on your computer screen and start eating off it when you see the interface for Squarespace 6. You're just going to start rubbing against it in weird ways like this. You're just going to be like, oh, I'm okay. cutting away. That's, that's, not the, uh, that's not what we wanted to do. Hi, how are you, Scott? Rated it's ew. Good. It's good to see you. <laughs> Rated gross. Squarespace. That's what you need to do is go on over to Squarespace. Uh, you're going to get 10% off, okay, if you use NSFW10. That's what you need to use. And a that checkout. even counts a if you buy for the whole year. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you should say, like, at checkout, you're going to use Squarespace quote here. Squarespace 
uh, code here. I'll tell you what. Let's. Uh, I'm sorry, Justin. You've been, you've been great, but let's get a true professional to handle this ad read. Um, I mean, not that I don't love you, and not that I don't trust you. Let's take it to a true pro. Here you go. You'll want to use Squarespace. Uh, no, you'll want to keep using the Squarespace, but when you check out, use code NSFW10 before I do a magic trick and build you out of money at the bar for a trick that I'll do now. <laughs> out of money at the bar. Squarespace.com. Our friends uh, for, what, two years? As a matter of fact, I believe it was two years ago this month that we first had our uh, pants check episode that our friend Mark Burstener, formerly of Squarespace. Mark B. Mark B. B stands for busy. That's true. Because uh, he's getting busy all the time. He is. Uh, I'll um, tell you who else is getting busy. Guess who just got a tattoo? Boo. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Spam awesome. be saying F me. Mail route be smiling. What's up? I'll tell you who get else that, got get a tattoo. Get that bird on your head, dude. That's what you want. This guy right here. here. <laughs> That's a pretty good likeness. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, all right. Do you want to see? Do you want to see who the the last the last entry here? I don't know if it's any good. Um. All right. Here. This one's called an election night to remember. I don't even know who this is from. Take a look. Oh, I, I recognize that face. Yeah. What the? No! <laughs> <laughs> so much win. Yes, a million times over. The standing belly clap. Oh, wait, I just turned everything off. I got so excited. There we go. Congratulations. <laughs> Yay! J Jason Howell, Raygun01, holy crow. Yeah, that was pretty damn good. See, it had special effects. Like, it I had believe, nudity. I Don't believe, forget it had the nudity. That's it had nudity? It had, oh, wait, shows Brian and Justin again. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here's here you go. guys doing your little show. <laughs> Brian's, see, he's got a little beard I put on there. He's got some bad hair. That's Justin. <laughs> See how that still works. Freaking yeah. out in the, the people are asking for a replay. I guess for the audio listeners, we should we should spell it out. Uh, we got Jason Howell laying in bed snoozing, uh, shirtless, definitely shirtless, with a a sturgeon faced photo of Barack Obama and a uh, a rose that says and it says not bad, Jason Hart Obama, which is first he discovers. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. He's got apnea. What the? And then, and then what does it say? And then he says, yeah, not bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> from, from Romney. That's amazing, dude. Oh, Jason. That is 85 varieties of awesome. Oh, we, we do have a last minute entry into the into the tattoo category. Uh, this is Ali Spangola's new tattoo. It clearly says spam say it F B <laughs> mail route being very happy. Yeah. yeah. Uh hey man, we're about to wrap up. Battle wrap up? Yes. So I guess we should mm. wrap up. Yeah, maybe wrap up. <laughs> I can't I can't beat box. I won't even try. Yeah, uh, you you wanna box me? You wanna fight? Mm. Is that what you're saying? Is, is that what you're saying? Just the cuffs? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, can I can I plug something real quick? Plug it. Can I can I plug away, sir? <laughs> get, go get get pluggy, sir. Uh, let me go to YouTube.com and uh, click on this thing. So here here's the deal. I'm doing my first ever Indiegogo raising money thing that I've ever done, and uh, it's it's a thinly veiled excuse. Um, I don't know. You you and I have talked about this, Justin, and I feel very weird about this. Brian, just be be honest. Like the honest element of it, like you number one, you are in a position where a lot of people have asked you uh about where to get things uh, you know, on you know, that you've talked about for scam school, where you are around uh, you know, uh, a lot of people that watch this show and, and watch your other shows. That want to, uh, you know, be involved with what you're doing and support you while they're doing it. You had this great idea, you put it up on Indiegogo today. 
Talk about it in your own words. All right. Well, uh, so the idea is 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 that for for four years now, everyone's been asking me to make things available for the scam school audience and essentially it means you got to set up a, a tiny small business but the problem is i'm too busy like on the road doing my horse crap and so i put together an indiegogo campaign uh we're getting ready to have a baby which means whether i want to or not i'm about to spend a lot of time at home so uh normally for me being on the road do you want to <laughs> hi i would like to ask you a question do you want to spend time at home i'm just asking are you kidding me? I would love to, but this is one of those rare occasions where no matter whether we need the money or not, this is like, well, I guess I'm staying home regardless. So we were trying to think of of, of what is a uh, something we could do that we could do while we're here, and uh, the idea was to actually come up with, um, uh, boy, this this looks like uh, like I fell and have, <laughs> I'm having trouble getting back up. <laughs> Just play the video. Play the video. Okay, all right. I'm gonna play this video. This is a new thing that we're doing, and uh, it would mean the world to me if you'd play along. Here we go. Check this out. Check a knuckle, ding dong. No, that's fine. I'll just do test footage here just to make sure we can record. Hello, beautiful people. Brian Brushwood, host of the show Scam School. And you know what people say to me all the time? They say, hey, Brian, wouldn't it be great if you had a singular space that you could buy everything that you see on Scam School? Everything from lock picks to placebo bands to the friction pens that vanish to marked deck of cards? And I say, that's a great idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get on this plane and fly to Seattle to do a big, fat, giant show. The problem is, is I'm always on tour. And as much as I'd love to make this stuff available as much as I'd love this to be a space where I can answer questions because I get a lot of the same questions over and over and over again as much as I'd love to do live Q&A's and uh, product demonstrations uh, the problem is I'm just on tour a lot but then this happened and by this I mean that's not my I don't have in my belly that biology we're having a baby see look <laughs> this this is not her this is a lady <laughs> this is a later model <laughs> <laughs> this is what they turn into eventually. But the point is, is now that we're having a kid, I actually really want to stay home for two months straight. The problem, of course, is that uh, babies cost money. Apparently, apparently to buy a kid, you think that's funny? It'll be less funny in 30 years. The problem is, is that kids cost money, and in this case, we're going to have to raise around $10,000. So here's what I'd love to do. I want to take paternity leave. I want to do nothing but focus on building ScamStuff.com, the singular resource for all things scammy. This would be not only everything you've seen in the show, including the equipment, all the way up to a particularly badass t-shirt you might have caught me wearing. But the important thing is, remember, this is not a magic shop. This is more like a conmanswoot.com, where every week or two, I'm going to come up with a particular package or item that I think is completely badass come up with a unique presentation for it and make it available on limited releases only. Think of it this way, Scam School is about what you do at the bar, Scam Stuff is about what you bring to the bar. Talking about all the tools of the trade, from double-headed quarters to fake IDs to fake wristbands so that you can sneak backstage. And I'm super stoked about the first package we've put together. It's called the Scam Pack, and it's made up of 17 hard-to-find items that are used in over 115 episodes of Scam School. Everything from the friction pens to the placebo bands to a special chain so that you can play fast and loose to a 50-cent piece, specially prepared matches, and the whole thing fits into a commemorative Brian Brushwood pint glass but the best part is we're giving you a premium top-of-the-line Cadillac style theory 11 deck designed by Shepard Ferry himself this thing is gorgeous and it's gonna be the nicest deck you could possibly get because for you only the best after that run, we're soon going to have physical copies of the Scam School book. I just signed my first ever legitimate publishing deal, and hard copies of the book are coming out soon. You'll be able to get your hands on one of the first 200 copies signed and numbered by me. Now, this is a special opportunity. I never, and I mean never, get two whole months off in a row to work on a big project like this. We're talking about a lot more live streaming, a lot of fan interaction, finding out what you want this to be, but the whole thing is only possible if we blow out this Indiegogo. So we set up some pretty awesome perks. We're talking about the cheapest you'll ever get the scam pack. We're talking about physical copies of the scam school book. We're talking about packages where I spend 30 minutes with you one on one interacting, trying to get your magic as good as possible, giving career advice, doing whatever kind of mentorship means the most to you. We got packages where I'll fly and perform in your living room. We'll even fly you out to join me live on a scam school episode. It's going to be epic. Essentially, here's what I'm asking for. For the first time in 10 years of live stage touring, I want to take off two months and work for you personally, creating the next big thing. You'll get some sweet loot, you'll take care of your Christmas presents, we'll make an awesome website, we'll interact, and best of all, you'll get more of what you love about the Scam School experience.
All right. So uh, anyway, the idea is uh, uh, super simple, and this is something that. <laughs> Hold on. What's uh, hold on? Are you presenting evidence, Justin? What's going on there? What is? What am I looking at, sir? Guys, if you didn't want to go to scam stuff, why is there a line? <laughs> <laughs> That's Amazing. A line, that. that looks like a line to me. Back where I come from, that's called a line. That's true. That's true. Uh, what's funny is I thought you were presenting that to me specifically, and I thought, well, I mean, that's a pretty obvious connection between me and scam stuff. But, no. but if there's no, else. no, no, I'm saying everybody watching. Listen, uh, not only and and uh, this is the the pitch that that goes to to chat realm to to the NSFW uh, crowd. Uh, the more that Brian's around at his house, the more we can do stuff like live stream. And, and different kinds of live streams and do more, uh, you know, just random stuff. Uh, it, it's, it's great for NSFW. And, uh, you know, if you want to support Brian, please go over to the Indiegogo and, and make sure that you, you pitch in. Uh, I, I am going to right now just nip in the bud the campaign for, uh, for Chat Realm to pull their money so they can uh, name the middle name of your unborn child. Jury is my real father. Uh, I'm, I'm not taking going away to. my support. That one. I'm saying, dude, I'm going to say Chat Realm. You bring it, you, you you write that check, then then the birth certificate will say, uh, first name, jury is my real father, Brushwood. And uh, I ain't saying how long, but you will, there will be a birth certificate that says that on it. Can't promise how long that'll be your legal name. Well, but Whatever, man. I, I'll, I'll tell you what. Uh, Snowshoe is saying, does that mean Night Attack 2 will finally be completed? Uh, <laughs> highly likely, more likely than, than Night Attack 2 would be completed while Brian is at home more than if he is not at home. Oh, that's for damn sure. And that's the thing. It's like you and I were talking about this and it hit me like, uh, number one, this is an idea everyone's asking for. So it's obvious that I should get off my ass and do it. But, uh, but mainly it's just been, uh, I've, I've been, you know, doing my day job and it was like you and I had joked about how you wanted to move out to the West coast to marry the internet. Like this is my effort to get off tour and work for the internet. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. It's, it's, uh, I think it's, I've, I've said to you that you should have a, uh, that you should have a retail presence forever. Uh, you know, it just makes a lot of sense. And for folks who want to watch, I mean, listen, we've made a reputation on this show, uh, you know, helping to support our friends with really awesome projects, including, uh, Scott, not only with, uh, Nerdtacular, but also, uh, the, uh, the autopilot, uh, Kickstarter, you know, uh, we, we love supporting our friends, and this is really this is ground zero uh, for for that idea. That let's support Brian to make sure uh, that you get some really awesome stuff at home, uh, and uh, ultimately uh, listen, it's already there. That's I right. endorse this message. All right, look. Why is uh, it alone, bro? Uh, do you have anything to promote You're before we wrap stuff up, Scott? Uh, not really, other than you guys should go to Indiegogo and support Brian. Uh, this is really cool. <laughs> I, did, I knew you had something going, dude. I didn't know it was this. This is totally rad, and um, there's no reason why people shouldn't jump on this. This is totally cool. Right on, um, man. So that's great. I will say this one thing. If you're sitting around and you're bored and you're thinking to myself, yourself, really. You're not thinking to myself. You're thinking to yourself, you know, I sure could use a bunch of generated internet content well then i would point you in the direction of frogpants.com you'll find all you need there in between bouts of nsfw and scam school consumption uh you'll find a whole bunch of cool stuff over there but for reals man support this thing this is totally rad dude i'm, I'm stoked I'm, I'm number one i'm stoked for the extra kid i can't wait you're going zone defense it's going to be great i can't wait for all that because that's where life matters i'm actually the most. i'm actually going to hit you up for it because how old are yours now because i'm gonna well they're, so i'm not see, here's the funny thing i'm not that much older than you but my kids are a lot older i have a see you were 18 smart. year old you got started early way early on <laughs> i did i got started at 24 or 25 i have an 18 year old I have a 15-year-old daughter, and I have a son who's 12. See, you're and, out of you're like you're in the clear now, man. You yeah, pulled it yeah. off. You won. It is. Life. It is. I'm telling you, man. It does. And, and the thing is, coming from somebody who has eschewed the crap life of the the jobs I never wanted, and embraced this brave new space that all of us are building in real time that we don't even know what we're doing half the time, but somehow we're making it work. World I live in now. Um, and then seeing you in the place that you're at right now is really exciting to me because, a, you're already kind of, you're already doing it. You're already a freaking superstar in, in in so many circles. 
But then to to make this extra little dive into something like this, which I think will just be the which tip of the iceberg. Which is terrifying because you know how it is. Once you quit a day job, like the thought, oh, yeah. uh, the prospect of doing something, uh, anything on completely on your own is terrifying. And on top of that, there's this word perverse part that says if it's something you love, there's no way that you could actually do it. You know? Yeah, yeah. Or that you're gonna somebody at any minute now is gonna figure out that you are some kind of fraud. I go through this all the time and I think it's normal. My sister's a therapist and she tells me that is absolutely normal thinking for guys like you, for guys like me, for guys like Justin. So it, this is awesome. I'm stoked you're embracing it. I'm sure there's, you know, like, like me, you have a million insecurities about it and you're supposed to. That makes you a human being and not a douche. So <laughs> embrace your non-douche status and go for it. And everybody out there freaking support this. I think it's, I think it's rad. You're very kind, and, sir. Yeah, very uh, excited for uh, you, dude. Uh, Justin. All right, real quick. I have, uh, I have one more chart tonight. Um, of course, uh, Scott Johnson's frog pants. Uh, if, if there wasn't a connection between frog and pants, why is there a line? But there seems to be yet another line here. If we connect the secondary chart, you realize there is no splorp. That's a no splorp guarantee. Oh, wow. On the frog pants work. Full quality right there. That and, also and looks, that's the this. worst. Brian, if you uh, put give those, me a level. Yeah. Uh, you put those two uh, things together, those two Indiegogo. pieces of paper right there, that is the worst penis drawing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> it's the stick man's wiener. I'm sorry. What was <laughs> that? Uh, Give me, give me, uh, what's a good level that you have right now on your Indiegogo? Like, give me, give me a good mid-range. Someone spending a little bit of money level. Uh, I think the be like, uh, I think thirty dollars is a good value, and then uh, they're good values, and then the hundred dollars is Hi. like everything I own. You get for a hundred dollars, and then for like, uh, and then for what do you have above hundred. What's that? What do you have above above a hundred? Well, for two fifty, you get uh, personal mentorship and uh, and lessons. Uh, for for a thousand dollars, I will I will personally fly you out to join us for a scam school episode, and then after that, you could buy my stage show at a huge discount. Like if you have a holiday corporate party, I if it's less than two hundred people, I'll come out for twenty five hundred. All right, how about this? The first, the next person to buy a two hundred and fifty dollar package gets all the original artwork from this episode, Wait, including oh, what? a frog pants floor. Wait, this is this is what? What's the question? Say it again. At what level? The, the first or the next two hundred and fifty, or I'll tell you what. How about I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight original drawings from this episode. Uh, the next eight people that buy two hundred and fifty dollar packages each get one of these, including. Right, that's fair enough uh, because nobody has claimed one of the two fifty packages yet. Hold We've on, done. hold on. Now before Sports. you stop. What? Before, before you stop, what? The, next, the next person to do two fifty, what? Not, on, not only gets all that stupid crap that, that uh, Justin's got scribbled down. What? <laughs> you can have your very own signed twelve by eighteen inch full color uh, portrait drawing that I did. Uh, there's only a few of these left. I'm never making more of these. Dude. Of uh, Walter White himself from Breaking Bad. I'll sign this. You can see one hanging on my wall too, right up here. It's Big amazing. one. Here's the small one. I'll sign that and ship it to whoever does that. Brian, you just have to tell me who it is. All right. And, Dude, uh, I hope we'll John's watching at home. Take, take, take that, lousy hotel sketch drawing piece of crap garbage, Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> In your face, Kansas. Oh, my God. I like to call that bit. So glad I went first. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm going to sit also, here. I I should, I should actually, I, real, real quick, since uh, somebody's listening on audio and they're yelling at us right now, it's Indiegogo.com slash scam stuff, S-C-A-M-S-T-U-F-F. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Justin. Uh, of course, Frog Pants, Fantastic Network, The Morning Stream, Scott's Morning Show with Brian Ibbett. Amazing. Everybody should listen to it every single day. I'm happy to be a part of it uh, every Tuesday. However... I have bad news and good news. The bad news is next week I'm not going to be on the morning stream because I'm going to be on a flight. The good news is that the flight I'm taking is going to Salt Lake City where I'm going to be going to Scott Johnson's house. And I will, I will uh, Scott, if you will agree with me, we should do a, a special extended edition uh, jury duty live stream that Tuesday night. All right, we're in. I'm totally in. F a dog is all I got to say to that. F a dog. F a oh, dog. So check yes. that out next week. Oh, and Kim's making uh, jambalaya. I forgot to warn you about that. It's amazing. Oh, crap, man. You're, you're no, I just want to set fire to my face and kill myself. <laughs>
Why am I not there? That would be amazing. <laughs> it would be fun. <laughs> All right. Wait a minute. Uh, listen, the, the, it just gets sweeter for the $250 package. Zombie Jesus, of course, the Hall of Fame caller says, next person who gives $250, not only do you get the jury art, not only do you get the Scott Johnson art, but I will totally S your D. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what. I'll give you a copy of whatever this art is here. Scott and his puppets. Fire and Bigfoot. Uh, looks like it says, what does this wow. say? I should retire. Fajo? Fango? Fango? Fago? Fago? Fago. Maybe he thinks you're a, you're a uh, whatchamacallit, one of those clown posse dudes, and you're into the Fago. Fargo? Oh, yeah, like a Fago. A Fago root beer. Yeah, yeah. They're all into the Fago, the, those clown dudes. What are they called? I don't know. Uh, the, what are they called? F not Fagons. <laughs> what are they? Chat room, chat room. Juggalos. Jeez. Oh, it's Fago. It's called Fago. Oh, Juggalos yeah, Fago. in St. Clown Posse? What are you talking about? Yeah, the, 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 yeah, the Juggalos. Beer, and they all drink the Fago, right? Other. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at this. Uh, <laughs> right now at the top of Reddit Magic. Look at that. Brian Brushwood, host of Scam School, is trying to launch a scam stuff, a new a new online store. Brian More like did. succeeding. <laughs> well, I guess. Uh, well, not yet. Not not yet, sir. Well, let's make it happen, everybody. That's, well, there's the that. Uh, okay, uh, movie draft minute. Boom, go. Welcome to Movie Draft Minute for the week of October 15th, 2012. I'm your host, Roberto Viegas. It's week three and everybody's hit the board. Let's go check out the rankings. Sarah Lane's in sixth place with seven and Psychopaths bringing in $4.1 million. Tom Eric's in fifth place with Here Comes the Boom bringing in $11.8 million. Scott Johnson's in fourth place with $23.1 million. Brian Brushwood's in third place with $51.3 million. Justin Robert Young's in second place with $86.1 million. And still in first place with $124.2 million, it's Padre Robert Balasar. And that is your Movie Draft Minute for the week of October 15th, 2012. You got any, you got any insights, Scott, as a former, uh, former player? What? Yeah, what, in the whole uh, crowdfunding world? Is that what you're no, saying? no, 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 I meant in the movie draft minute. Wait, where are you? Oh, still? that. Um, I, um, I'm a little pissed league, at the good... Bro. I'm, I know. I'm, pissed at, <laughs> I'm, wait, mad at, I'm mad at the good father because he got all the animated it. movies and he's killing us. <laughs> Did I just... What's funny is I, I thought like, wait, Scott's in, and then I tuned in like halfway through the list went through, and then I just saw my own name and these other names. I was like, wait, I guess, I guess, did I forget that he... Is he not in? Oh, I'm in there. I'm in fourth place, damn it. <laughs> Now wait, who who got Skyfall? Scott, did you get Skyfall? Yeah, I did. I'm I'm real hopeful about that. This is this weekend, isn't it? Oh my it? god, it's gonna make all the money. There's yeah, gonna be no yeah. more money left in the world. I don't know why we're even having a presidential election about the economy because all the money's gonna go to Skyfall. Really? Yeah, whatever. You you were real you were real sweet on me during the summer draft, and I ended up just getting creamed <gasps> by you and Ted. So, dude, somebody took up the $250 challenge. There it is. Somebody right. somebody nabbed it. We'll find out who that person is. That person gets the one of the last signed uh, are you going to sign it? I'm going to sign it. It's the last only there are only two of these left in this format of the uh of, of Walter White. This is his post season 4 look. Um and uh yeah, the old, it's it's one of my favorite things I've ever done and yes, absolutely. One of a kind signed on its way to them, whatever whatever it takes. Once you fund, they're going to have one big fat print People on their wall. People are saying it's so K someone, whoever did it. Forward Brian in uh, uh, your, your, your an email Friels. for you and, and tell me which of these you want. It's Casey Friels. Casey Friels one. The, the Carrie Bird or F me spam mail route one or Splorp. <laughs> Let me know. Splorp eighty five hundred. <laughs> Amazing. And John uh, already says he's making contact with Casey Friels about contact info. That's amazing. Awesome. Uh, I'll tell you what, H2MC3. Uh, hey, real, real quick, H2MC3 says, how long after you meet your goal can you expect the site? Uh, well, the answer is uh, we actually, uh, to be honest, we, we, we set a $10,000 goal. I actually suspect we'll go past it because the deal we're offering on everything is, this is essentially a pre-sales event. Instead of us making the site, uh, and taking a month to do it and then not knowing if we're going to hit the Christmas deadline or whatever. Uh, essentially, we're doing pre-sales so that we can make the site around the pre-funded stuff. So really, what I'm hoping is, and by the way, we're already at $2,500, so we're already 25% of the way to the goal. Um, but if we, uh, 
it, uh, if in the next three or four days we hit the 10,000, then clearly that gives us an idea of what kind of in inventory to order. The idea is, is the day this ends, the site should go live and everyone should buy anything. But if there's something you want to buy, then the easy, the best value you're ever going to get is right now in the pre-sales. After that, it's all downhill. After that, I'm going to gouge you. Uh, all right. And T2T2 keeps talking about something, but I'm not going to bring it up. I will Brian, bring it up. I'll, I'll bring this up. Like okay, okay, look. Here, it, this is my fault. This is totally my fault because, because we were talking beforehand – and I admitted that I was the one who did not do my homework and did not bring the 10 proposed uh, viral videos for the Viral Video Hall of Fame. T2T2 has set up this entire thing. We're going to make a physical Hall of Fame in a virtual space, which means it's essentially not physical. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. But we're going to make an actual Hall of Fame for the best things. This is entirely my fault. I will take the bullet on this one. Well, I'm punting till next week. Next week, I'm going to be out in San Francisco. Justin will be out at Scott Johnson's place. We'll figure out some way to make everything work. Hopefully. No, no. I'll be in, no, uh, I'll be in Fresno. Fresno. But, but you'll be in California, not where I'm going to be in California is yes. is, yeah, is, is the big deal. Uh, I believe we're on Monday next week, and uh, yes. And so so hold off on us. If you guys were about to make a proposal, I know we got a proposal from Tall Beer, who's already working on his beer-themed viral uh, top videos, I believe, if I read the, the, the video. Scott, first. of course, is, is, is encouraged as, as a member of the uh, electorate. Yeah. To, uh, to, to what? Pick, pick the ones I think should be in that? We're making a viral well, video a Hall video. of Fame. And or do any, a video. You think I should do a video? Is that true? No, me? no, 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 no. We think you should say what the. Uh, this is like the Oscar. I want this conversation to continue to sound like my grandkids talking to their old fart grandpa who doesn't understand what's going on. I want that to keep happening. So let's just keep doing that. <laughs> no, no, grandpa. What we're saying is we want you to nominate some videos. You want we me want to you what? You want me to do what? To you? What? <laughs> you, you want me to watch a video? No, no. <laughs> you want me to start? A, is this the pornographies again? <laughs> so, wait, so what? What did we decide? It was six years. Was it six years uh, for that? Was that the uh, cha -cha, the date? The chat room will tell us what we decided. I don't see the need for us to, to go saying what we decided. <laughs> uh, so basically. Uh, uh, five years, they're saying. Uh, what what the, the 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 deal is, Scott, is that you have to say uh, ten videos that came out at least five years ago that you would submit to the Hall of Fame, and we only let in five. Uh, so we're going to take uh, me, Brian, everyone else who's ever been on the show. Each year, we'll get to vote, and uh, and and only five go in a year. And each year, there will be new videos eligible. Oh, okay, yeah. I could do that. So five from, or yeah, f so f wait, 10 videos from the last five years or five? Ten, yeah, ten, 10 videos at least five years old. And then five okay, go yeah. in amongst all the votes that we collect. I'm totally going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Look, Carl, I guess suggesting that the rules are not confusing enough, which uh, then we will say them next week in Portuguese. All right. Well, with that in mind, I guess it's time to wrap up this episode of NSFW. Uh, first of all, we love each and every one of you guys. Thank you to everybody submitted for our 10-second film festival. They were a little hot and cold this year. That's all right. Except for Jason Howell, who and rocked so it and melted our faces. I guess we're all doing this. <laughs> Justin Robert Young. It's good to see you, man. DC till you D-I-E. Scott Johnson, thank you so much, man. Thanks, man. It's always a pleasure. I love hanging out with you guys. To be apart from Brian and Justin of NSFW. Oh, I'd rather... Die in a fire. Die in a fire. Yeah, and see you next Tuesday. Then to spend a single moment Monday. without <laughs> Monday. Brush See you next Monday. The moon gets oh, deep Monday. Be dipped in honey and fed to I don't like empire. what that abbreviation looks like. Then do without Justin Robert Young for even a little while. Oh, and hey, be See you Monday. I love you. Postini. Man. Puny human. Why is he why is he the Hulk now? Puny puny god. Oh NSF Postini It's Bell the U I love oh. I
Slurp you. Aww. That was really Slurp. sweet. Slurp. Gleep. 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 <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Just cue me. Cue me and I'm good. Okay. <clears throat> uh, uh, and go. And <laughs> uh, we actually got a hiccup. Can you do that again? Sure. <clears throat> Uh, we actually got a hiccup. Can you do that again? Sure. <clears throat> do you ever get negative feedback for coming on our show? No. No. Heck no. Always, always positive stuff. And we get some, you know, fair amount of folks in the uh, the tad pool, our little chat room that, uh, that love to hang out here as well. So yeah, no, it's all it's a mutually beneficial uh, environment. Yeah. Everyone's everyone's scratching everyone else's backs. You know. That's what we do in podcasting. We first Everybody... scratch each other's backs, and then we kind of slowly yeah. start to rub it. Yeah, and it's, and we got our, all our arms firmly up the back of each other's shirts. And then, then we shirts. play the sexy sax man song. Yeah. 